For the best-selling author of Tuesdays with Maury comes a new book by Mitch Albom. It is called The Stranger in the Lifeboat. He joins us today. Uh, good morning, Mitch. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. In the opening pages, we learn right away that a yacht has exploded and it has sunk off the coast of Africa. There are 10 people that made it off and they're on a lifeboat and they are praying to survive when they spot the titular stranger and pull him from the water. He at that point, um, it's just great reading, at that point tells the group that he is the Lord and has come to help. What kind of journey are you taking us on? It's a journey of belief in help because we all ask for help and <clears throat> certainly over the last couple years we've asked for a lot of it but we don't always accept it when it comes and we don't always believe it is what it is when it comes so as you pointed out you know he says he's the lord but he's an average looking guy he doesn't he gets hungry he gets thirsty and so the passengers don't really believe that he is who he says he is until some mysterious things start happening this has been described as half mystery, half parable. So, how do you um, how do you expect us to to take most of this in? Well, over the course of the last couple of years, as I say, we've all asked for a lot of help during the pandemic, and there are a lot of questions that I think if I were to disappear from this screen, and someone were to sit down and say, "I'm the Lord," go ahead and ask me whatever questions you want. Uh, I'm sure you'd have some pretty good questions, Amanda, and uh, so would everybody else. I try to put those questions in the mouths of these passengers on this life raft who are trying to decide if they should put their belief or faith in this guy. So questions like, do you answer all prayers? One of the passengers asks him, and he says, I answer every prayer, but sometimes the answer is no, which I've found to be true in my life. Or of course, the big question, why, why do people die? Why did, you know, one of the passengers says, my wife died. Why did you take my wife? And he's crying. And this God character says, well, I know that you cry when your loved ones leave this earth, but I can assure you they're not crying. And as someone who has lost a lot of people in his life, including a child, um, I found that to be kind of a comforting attitude because while I cry for her all the time, uh, if she's not crying, if she's someplace better in heaven or whatever comes next, then maybe I can take some comfort in that. I know the book just came out, but what has the reaction been so far? Because it, it is bound to bring comfort to many out there. Uh, so far, everybody who has read it, it's, it's been exactly what I've hoped. Um, it, it, uh, from what I'm told, it came out and it, it went very uh, quickly on the, you know, the measuring charts and Amazon and all that. And so I'm guessing that there are people who are in need of, of something healing. I know I am uh, and have been over the course of the last few years. And it is a, it's a mystery, it's a thriller, it's got a lot of stuff going on, but in the end, it's, it's a healing book for people who have questions about, you know, why do certain things happen when they do? And, you know, if you've ever had anything bad happen and, and you say, I just want this to stop, or I want it to end, I don't want this to happen, and it doesn't, and you think, well, my prayers weren't answered, you see, I wanted this to happen, it didn't happen. Then 10 years later, you look back on that moment in your life and you say, well, you know, if that didn't happen, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't have gone this, and then I would have met this person who I married, and we wouldn't have had the kids, and, and you realize, that was the, maybe the best thing that could have happened to me. Well, maybe your prayers were actually being answered at that moment by that thing. It just took a long time until you realized that that was the, the answer to your prayer, that it went a different direction. And that's kind of what Stranger in the Lifeboat explores. You know, are we ready to wait and be patient with help uh, and believe that it's coming, or do we only want it now in the way that we always want it? It's a lesson all of us can learn. It is a beautiful cover, a beautiful book. Uh, the Stranger in the Lifeboat by our guest, Mitch Album. It is available now. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate that.